The rock mound under the, where they shoot arrows into the cliffs is where they piled rocks on uh, a supernatural being called uh, Wormy Face. Wormy Face was an evil chief that lived to the east and would lure young women to his teepee. And then after uh, he was with them for about two nights, he would take them to the edge of a huge lake and throw them in the lake. And his father, who was a water beast, would, would eat them up. But uh, he leered this uh, young woman called uh, Corn Tassel to this place. And Corn Tassel was helped by, by the people, by, by the animals and things that live underneath the, the earth. And they saved him by jerking him in, jerking her into the ground while Wormy Face was trying to push her into the lake. And uh, Wormy Face, when he when he tried to push Corn Tassel, Corn Tassel was jerked into the river, and and uh, Wormy Face fell into the lake himself and was eaten up by his father. But then, when his father realized it was Wormy Face, he spit him out and. Wormy Face chased corn tassel all over the land into Canada and New Mexico and then Arizona and then finally uh, corn tassel was told to run to this to this cliff here. It's shaped like a teepee when you look at it from the south. And that's where seven uh, seven little people what they what what the white people call the little people and we call the Awakula people that hold up the earth or people that live inside the earth. And uh, one of the youngest of the little people was called Wolf, Black Wolf. And uh, he, uh, he was the guardian of Corn Tassel. And finally, Wormy Face kept searching for his wife and finally when he, when he, uh, when, uh, he found where she was living at, he came in and pounded on the door and threatening to, to uh, tear up the cliff. And uh, he, finally, Black Wolf, who was also a powerful being, uh, came out of the cliff and wrestled with uh, Wormy Face, and they tore up all the land, everything that was in this area here. There are no trees anymore. Everything was tore up and tore up pieces of rocks and threw it at each other, and you can still see the boulders stre strewn all over the place. And he told Corn Tassel before he came out. He said, "I'm gonna fight him, and then uh, when I, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll beat him, and then I'll, I'll hold him down. I'll bring him to the front of the teepee, and I'll hold him down. And go, you go out and find everything that you can that will burn, and pile on it on top of us, and." Uh, and make sure that, that when you light the fire and that no sparks jump out. When sparks jump out, you put them back in the fire because that's Wormy Face trying to get away. So, so the lady, uh, Corn Tassel, placed the uh, uh, trees on top of them and, and kept burning it. And finally, it burned down and, and uh, the ashes were there. So when, when she... Uh, when, when she uncovered the ashes, uh, there was a red spot, a red pain, and uh, Black Wolf told Corn Tassel that, he, that this would be his body. So she poured some of his soup on it, and, and uh, Black Wolf came to life. And so they piled these rocks over there so that Black Wolf, uh, Wormy Face could never come out again. And this is why that monument is there, uh, so that so that Wormy Face would never come back as powerful as he is.